Hi, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is a little video where I'm going to take a look at various art books quickly and this one is a very spur of the moment one because I was about to go to bed but the postman delivered something and look what he's posted da -da 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 -da. a beautiful issue the latest issue of Character Design Quarterly magazine and it's issue number 12 a beautiful orange side but I love that cover we've even got little fishies on it look my favorite types of fishies what a really nice cover it, um, is it my favorite my favorite is so far are these two issue number six and issue number nine is it it's definitely one of it's definitely my top three it might be my favourite. It's, it's definitely up there. But what a beautiful little cover. So I was going to go to bed. I was just about to go to bed. And when I opened this I thought. Oh, there's no way I can go to sleep now. Because <laughs> I've got to look inside of this. But I love fishies. These are my favourite fishies. Can't wait for this. So this is a character design quarterly magazine. By 3D Total Publishing. And if you subscribe to it, every three months they post it through your door and you don't know when it's going to come. So it's like a little surprise, like a little little Christmas treat or something. Hee -hee. Dennis looks quite nice with that, with the orange. There you go. I definitely recommend subscribing to it. So we've got Free Shape Characters by Lorenzo Etherington. I love that orange. This is what I love about this magazine it's just very very sexually put together very sexy this one oh cool look fishies again he's funny look there Dennis likes him I love these two little dudes I wonder if they mention because of this lockdown because England is in lock he's funny oh look at that that's amazing. Because England in lockdown, I did think this issue was not going to come out for months. That is that is beautiful. Sarah Conradson. Oh, look at this. So sexy. Look, the way they bring the colours from the images into the page. It's really nice. Sarah. Cool, we're going to get to... Meet little Sarah, the artist. What a lovely page that is. No, oh, goodness, look at this. She is definitely an artist I'm looking into. Textures make art, artwork feel more alive. That is amazing. There's not many colours in that either. And look at this one as well. Oh, this is a new favourite artist, I think. Yeah, definitely. What a beautiful way to start this issue. I love a little creatures. He's funny, that one. There's a sort of delicateness about these. Wait, what, what's so amazing about these magazines is you get beautiful artwork, you get to meet new amazing inspirational artists, and you get little tips and stuff look like when colouring I believe it is vital to add contrast either in the colours I choose or the value of the colour if I'm creating a monochromatic design for me a strong contrast makes an illustration more visually interesting and engaging we like that that water look, it looks like it's sort of sparkling it's nice that is Designing the cover. Cool. They've never done that before. They're going to talk through the process of creating that cover. I love that. You've got your little brains. Yeah, again, see, it always starts with writing. That's what I keep seeing. <laughs> little Dennis. Four shortened poses. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm so excited. Because look, we're, we're getting sketches of the... 
Oh, this is, this is, I hope they do this every issue now. This is the best idea ever, to go behind the scenes of the cover art. Please, please, please do that every issue. It's, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I feel, oh, these are cool as well. Again, look at the sexiness of that page. Really good at choosing colours. 3D Totter population is. Silhouettes again. Things I keep seeing are big bastard basic shapes. Silhouettes. Starting with writing. Yeah, they're the three things that I keep... Keep going in. These characters are cool. These are really fun. I'm drawing little bunnies for my draw day this month for the 365 day drawing challenge been drawing little bunnies, they're fun though yeah he's like my bunny, he's a bit like stupid bunnies are like that Simon Bayuk very, very angular shapes, lines this is something else I love is how you get so many different types of artwork you got that which is very like soft and melting and this one's a bit more harsh it's quite cool that look at these little things look it's quite nice that oh I like that one it's a bit mysterious oh that's nice Oh, I like that one. A tiny little bit like there's an artist called Lee White at SVS Learn. A little bit like that. Little gestury things. Yeah, gesture sketches. Top tips for successful growth. Be disciplined. Keep learning. Study and analyse. Take a break. I like that. Balance. Yeah, be disciplined, but also take a break. Oh, now th these are cool, look. These are really proper characters. Cool. Isn't it fun? I like that little character. The little gestures, look. Very fun. As we get little interviews and stuff. Blurry backgrounds. Oh, I'm going to enjoy reading these articles. Assemble an alien. Again, start with writing. <laughs> Look at this one here, look. Very fun characters. Oh, I like these little characters. Again, complete con... What a... I love that page. I love when you get a page of artwork. He's quite funny. That one stands out to me. He's got quite a weird shape. Things like this I could look at for ages. They're all just random shapes. Stories. Like, oh, cool, look. They've turned them from that. I hope they've done that one. Yay! My little, my little dude, look. These are like something you would find on a... Uh, little cards. Ah, oh, beautiful. Moonchild illustrations. These are a bit like Lee White as well. Very whimsical. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these little flower things. Got little heads. Ah, I like the feel of those ones. <laughs> little biggie dude. Your friend Dennis. Look 
Again, I like the way the pages are set out. It's a bit weird. Are they peach? Peach heads. Tangerines. The tangerine band. Look at that, look. Little mouse in the boot. <laughs> Funny. Oh, cool, look. You got a little. I like that. It's happy. Wonder what that's all about. A little friendly monster. Oh, I like I like the I like the feel of these. That's nice. Love him. Yeah, the, the, this issue is full of really good characters. All so different. Cool. <laughs> Pumpkins. Creating a cohesive group. Put little characters in the photo. Again, writing. Who are your characters? Fishies. Grumpy fish. Oh, he's my favourite. To me, this feels like an article that I would put on the podcast. It's talking, yeah. Creating a cohesive group. So it's all, all about a group of characters that will fit well together. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to turn this into a podcast. Tangents. Yeah, I'm always aware of that. It's where lines meet and it flattens things. Cool. It's going to be good to read, I think. <laughs> he looks like a... He looks like one of the Muppets or something. The evil dudes. Yeah, the Motley Crew. Cool. Hmm. That's cool, that is. <laughs> Funny. Let, let your imaginary friend be your art director. This reminds me of something. I don't know. Is it um what's it called? Pigeon Street? Maybe. I like this. Okay, look at that look. Look how rough that is. Fishy's the focus. Yeah, cool. This would be good to read as well. Going through the process. Strange colours. Yeah, for, for me there's too many colours there. And I need to see the final. It almost looks like It looks like 3D within 2D or something. Fins. Yeah, I'm not sure about the colours on that one. I love the shape though. It looks like a heart. Cool. Hey, the gallery. We love this. You ready, Dennis? The gallery time. Da -da -da -da. Look, Dennis is going to watch the gallery. He likes the gallery. I like that. Look at the texture on that. Look, it's got like um, sort of got like film grain on it. Again, it feels different. Oh, nice. 
again, weird, weird colours. <laughs> That's quite funny, that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Little monsters. I wonder what they're made with. 3D Illustrator. Related characters. Dynamic duo. Cool. Sit down there. Behave yourself. <laughs> She's sexy. Again, different shapes. I'm going to really enjoy reading this one as well. Because with my little character, little Sophie, she's got a little cat called Kevy. But I've not really put them two together yet. So I think this would be quite good to read. Cool. She's beautiful, she is. Look at that. Nice big shapes. That's quite a fun one. I like the shape of that one. She looks cooler. Same thing, different outfits. It's my favourite one. Cool. Oh, look at this, look. I like that. They look really cool. Two completely different shapes. I like her. If you've ever played this video game called Mia, there's a little boy that looked just like that. Oh, I like this bit as well, look. We get the little artists. Simon. B, B Towers. Beto B Towers. Aaron. Nunzio. I like how... I, oh, she's nice. I like how everyone looks completely different. Sarah, is that the first, that's Sarah, she's the one from the start I think. Nice. Lots of very pretty people this issue. You've got two fun little characters there. I love those two. No, oh, I hate this bit. It's finished. Oh cool, it it's, fits in with the front bit. And we've got a little thing there for something <laughs> enriched with texture textures make artwork feel more alive I like that quote as well Sarah Conradson yeah that's her what an amazing issue I hope they do that every issue break down the cover because that would be amazing I would like them to have done that with that one silly what an amazing issue my favourite artist is definitely Sarah. Beautiful colours and shapes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a click look at issue 12 of Character Design Quarterly magazine. Da -da -da. I'm going to go to bed now and have some dreams. I'm going to dream about these characters. <laughs>